The Idaho New 6 forecast. Meteorologist Eric Johnson in for Scott Durval. And we did see a little bit of additional cloud cover today up at Sun Valley compared to what we saw yesterday. And we do have a lot of cloud cover for the first half of your day tomorrow. We're kind of on the northern edge of this ridge that is bringing us the warmer conditions. So we do have some Pacific moisture making its way in. We're not really going to see much in the way of precipitation, but we will see that cloud cover increasing just a bit for our central mountains for the first half of your Thursday, but then clearing out towards the evening. It has been unseasonably warm today, but we are going to notice the wind picking up. We have a low pressure system off to the east and high pressure building to the west, and that is going to create a pressure gradient right over Idaho, and that means we will see stronger winds really across the entire area. We could be looking at 35 mile per hour wind gusts uh, in the Treasure Valley, and that high pressure ridge only continues to build in throughout the rest of the week and moving just to our east. That's really when we're going to see those temperatures spiking up on Sunday. We could be looking at highs in the mid to even upper 80s, potential for record breaking heat in the Treasure Valley. Now that doesn't last long. We do have a low pressure system uh, that does begin to work into the west coast. We'll still be above average, but we'll definitely notice our temperatures being a little bit cooler into next week, but actually pretty uh, comfortable in, into the 70s. We also have the chance for some showers and very high elevation snow. Likely snow levels will remain around 7,500 feet, but we are going to see that wind staying calmer through the rest of tonight, but it's Thursday afternoon when we see that wind picking up again. Still could see some stronger wind gusts, especially down towards the mountain home area and into the Magic Valley. That's where we can expect gusts exceeding 40 miles per hour in some locations. But then we do start to see that wind diminishing as we head into Friday. We do have that wind advisory now in effect across the Treasure and Magic Valleys, and that's where we can expect those sustained winds anywhere from 25 to 35 miles per hour. That will expire at 9 p.m. tomorrow when we, when we do expect those winds to calm down. We do have flood watches down into southeastern Idaho, and this is really going to be the case across the entire area. We're watching that snow melt uh, happen pretty rapidly. So a lot of our mountain valleys like the Arco area up into the Wood River Valley, we could be looking at uh, the potential for some street flooding. And we're also keeping a close eye on some of our rivers as well. Good news is we don't have any substantial precipitation over the next several days to really add on to that snow melt. But again, as I was mentioning, we'll watch that cloud cover increase across northern areas like McCall as we head through your Thursday but that does begin to diminish heading towards uh, Thursday afternoon. There also could be some fog over in Long Valley tomorrow morning as well, and that could reduce visibility on the roadways. We're looking at low to mid 70s across the area tomorrow, so a good five degree jump in our temperatures, and we'll see a pretty gusty northwest breeze that will make those temperatures uh, feel a little bit cooler, but still pretty pleasant. And then into our west central mountains, starting off the morning with some fog, and then we do see those clouds beginning to clear towards the afternoon, looking at a high temperature of 56 in McCall, 71 over towards Council and Riggins. And we'll just see a few passing clouds throughout the afternoon, but overall a really pleasant end to the day. And our East Central Mountains looking at some patchy clouds, but more sunshine as we head towards the afternoon. It is going to be on the gustier side. We'll look at high temperatures in the low to mid 60s from Sun Valley over to Haley. Uh, but just keep in mind, you will be dealing with some pretty strong wind gusts throughout the day as high as 35 miles per hour. And then as we do head through the rest of the week, we're continuing to see that warming trend. Friday looks to be really the pick day, not too hot, not too cool, and a lot of sunshine. And we'll continue to see that cloud cover increasing through the weekend, but those temperatures also spiking up. We're into the upper 80s by Sunday before we cool it back down a little bit into next week.